This is a story. Some would call it a vlog, but I'll keep calling it a story. A story set in a village so far north in Norway that when the northern hemisphere tilts away from the sun for winter, the only way to catch the last rays of sunlight is to climb the very highest mountain in the village. And hopefully, ski one last line in the sun as it sets for two months of continuous polar night. Okay, Finn? Yo. It's the first day of the rest of your life. Every day is the first day of the rest of your life. That's right. But today is the best one. Around this time last year, no? Actually, we like pretty much exactly a year ago. Exactly is, a year ago. Is when I noticed that my right testicle is the size of a kiwi. A brown kiwi. No, the, the fruit, not the bird. And now you're healthy. I mean, I, I don't have cancer. I still feel like I'm not in good shape. Yeah. Like, you know, but uh, they didn't give me the same EPO that they gave Lance. So it's going to take a little bit longer before I do my, my comeback. Yeah, <laughs> but we're going to try a little comeback here on Sturgalten. Uh, Finn hasn't been since before his, he was diagnosed. I mean, I bought my house at the base of Sturgalten. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, it's like my home mountain. I ski there a lot for work with avalanche uh, observations, also guiding. I think it's like a super fun mountain. There's just so many different ways to ski it. You have like the, the steep lines on the south face. You have like the mini golf terrain where a bunch of photo shoots have happened. You have like the glacier on the back. You have the west face, super cruisy 360 panorama. It's just kind of a a cool, uh, a cool mountain to have uh, my back door. So it's about 24 hours since I had my surgery. Coughing hurts, walking hurts. Um, yeah, that was kind of uh, hard, like not being able to live the life I wanted to, you know, especially like skiing on Sturgalten, like or just like skiing the places I've skied so many times. And also it's the first day of the season. Like we had some epic days in the trees. Oh! <laughs> Ooh. What's up? Yeah, buddy. But we still haven't been at Pi. And uh, there's been like facets everywhere. It's been like... Totally I mean, sketchy. I mean, we people who've been here, like we've been up in Schulz and you've just been like driving around in your Polestar doing like watching movies while we've been skiing. Yes, okay, I've been on the movie tour and while I was away, it was really good and then it got really sketchy and really, really dangerous. So I've been just misking the trees, which was epic. <laughs> now, hopefully, hopefully it's not as sketchy up there. So, I mean, the theme of today is check your balls and check the snow before you drop. I think with still one testicle, I think I still, still hope I'm still a relevant skier and uh, mountain per person, you know? <laughs> I think you'd be even with no testicles. Yeah, even with, so. But you know, Finn, it's the last day of sun too, so I brought the sun hat. I think the last day in town was yesterday, but we're gonna go high enough that we're gonna see it today. Well, I hope so, I brought the sun hat. And um, Vetla actually started out as an intern, just right here on this mountain. But now he's the main cameraman because Jonas has uh, torn his ACL. So now it's me and you, Vetla. Me and you. Up we go! Oh my fuck! GoPros. I forgot the GoPros. I'll run down, pick up some GoPros. I'm uh, gonna just go slow anyway, so you'll catch up. 100%. Okay, I'll see you in a bit. Did you bring your radio, Vetle? Yeah. Okay. Did you? Yeah, no, I did. <laughs> yeah. Definitely first thing of the season. And the TV show is rolling again this year. So we have Sigurd filming for the TV. Sigurd's the guy filming Vetla. And this guy who checked our beacon, that's Martin, also with a camera. And you'll notice the show has me very language confused today. So there's three media people today. One guide and one skier. One guide, one skier. I mean, you're kind of a skier though, Vetla. You're on the back rows team. I'm hoping to see some back rows sends from you. Oh, damn. 
When I came into the ski industry, I went on all these trips with like older skiers as a filmer. And I would always think like, man, these guys suck. Like I can do it so much better, these old farts. And now you're in that position right there. <laughs> and I'm the old fart. It's looking like my sun hat is out of place. But uh, I mean, there is a, a chance. So a 72% cloud cover, it says now. It's opening. I see red on the horizon. What is this? I think you jinxed it, so I must set by a sword hat. Martin says I jinxed it with the sun hat. Because we're about halfway there. And there is still zero sun. So it's coming off. Here comes the sun. It's clearing. It worked. I just had to get that yep. sun hat off. Sun hat off. Sun hat off. We're climbing above the clouds. Skal vi bare gå litt og så ta noen droner på toppen, eller? Svalt takk for det. Å gå litt nærmere og ryggen, kanskje. Ok, vi tusler bare, og så kan vi begynne å gjøre skredvurderinger eventuelt der oppe. Det er ingen bilde. Det er bare svart. Det er faen meg så krise. Jeg har en drone som ikke vil logge på, og en drone som ikke har kontakt. Jeg lover på han fikk noe vann i seg i sted, i bilen. Ok, nå funker ikke dronen til Vettelen her. Og det ser ut som vi har fått et hull i skyen. Litt nå, ja. Hvis den ikke funker. Har du troet, Finn? Jeg har troet. Hadde ikke hatt troet, hadde jeg ikke vært der. Nei, faen meg sant. Ja, ja. Det er faen springet etter, da. Ta det med kamera i stedet for. Life is just kind of brutal and unfair. Ah, oh, these clouds. I think these clouds, they're almost as hard as your side effects did. You know, I try to just kind of think a lot about the kind of illusion of control. Once I found out I had cancer, it was like, okay, this is something that's out of my control, but I can control how I respond. And I had kind of made a pretty ambitious timeline to like return to the mountains and then uh, Realizing that was going to take longer than I thought. Half my lung capacity was gone. It's almost been worse in like the places close to home because I know exactly how long it takes me to go there or how it feels to go at this pace. You know, makes you want to like run away and just do new things and don't have to compare the feeling of skiing in familiar places. But hey, good work. The nice thing about coming up to Sorgarten is you get this really nice. Panorama view. Yeah, it's amazing. You see Ulfjorn, Lingensjord. See almost all the. <laughs> Wasn't this like the view we were thinking about when you were like battling your way through chemo? Like, do it for the view at Sturgarten? Ah, uh, no, I've seen it enough before. <laughs> I mean, we still have an hour. So if, if it clears in one hour, we can ski something? I think we can check the snow. Yeah, let's do some assessment. He's on the Cornus patrol here. He knows this mountain like the back of his palm hand. I guess that's your palm. No, your own pocket. I can't tell if it's if it already maybe popped naturally uh, a couple days ago. Yeah. Guys, it's freaking pink above us. I should probably put the sun hat back on. It's the last, last attempt. Come on, I'm ready for you, son. Desperate times call for sun hats. Er det fun up? Ja. Vil du fly? Greit at han får filme, for jeg fryser så jævlig på henne. Sjekka! Ja, ja! Oh my lord, oh my lord, oh my lord! Oh my lord. Så det er bare å ikke bli for gira. Sjekke snøen. Sjekke at det er trygt. Og så... Eller bare å sette ut for å kose seg. What's it like? There's no... Nothing but... Rounded grains in the first... Meter. Okay, okay. So, no facets. No facets? I'm happy. 
Oh, that's epic. Look at this, guys. What? Halloween. Ah, I, I, I. I cannot believe this is what's going down right now. Holy shit. What? Okay, three, two, one. Nico dropping. <laughs> so good, man. Enjoy, Finn. Okay, Finn dropping. Yes, Finn. Woo! Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, did. <laughs> Hell. Yeah, ha, dude. Oh, thank you. What a run. That's oh. the, the first best <laughs> run of the season of this season. Oh, oh. dude, this place? Living La Vida Lingen. Living, living La Vida Lingen. I just got to say, I'm extremely satisfied with today. Felt the pressure, but I knew it was like, I looked at the weather, I was like, ah, this is worth Nico driving out to come skiing with me. This would be good. And it was so good. What? And there's no one here, all to ourselves. Oh my lord! The mountains are the same. They don't feel bigger. I'm just like aware that I need to move slower and just build a base back up to go ski Sturgalten with friends in good snow conditions. It's not just meeting a milestone to meeting a milestone, but you know, enjoying it along the way. <laughs> 